Absolute epics on this stage. Six. Including the 2015 final, which was the day he'll remember more fondly than any of the other days here. 4th of January 2015, when he defeated the legendary Phil Taylor to win his first world title, 7-6. Tops for Gary. And in it goes. This is a great start for Anderson, isn't it? Yes, that night, there was something in the air that night. Rasmus. So how's a break for the set, I should say. 470, sir. Game 102. And this could be it. Could still be off treble 17 ball. 17. Well, he tied his up after the first loose start. And Rasmus to stay in the hunt for set one. Double 13 if he so chooses. Done well here, Rasmus. One dart to send us to the side in the opening set, and he pins it. And he's fired a good response from the Latvian. Brilliant first dart for the set to close it out in style. Misses outside, but will be back. Rasmus just got to chip away this 214, but Anderson, who's hit double eight already, to open his account in this set. Be looking to hit it on his return to close out this set. 64, here we go, And the flying Scotsman eventually goes full steam ahead at the end of the first set. Had to work hard for it in the end, had to start shoveling on the coal after going two legs up. Rasmus squared it up at two apiece, but in the end, Gary Anderson gets the job. Top 40 qualifies. early to be thinking about that you've got to stay focused on the tournament itself and particularly on Maders Rasmus oh really good guard for Maders Rasmus went 2-0 down in the opening set and bounced back suffered the break early here and bounced back with a second turn plus finish of the match so really good shot and they hurt Gary Anderson waiting on top but Gary Anderson has always been one of the most stylish of Aerosmiths and his 180s are so easy on the eye and they still are. And that one illustrated it perfectly, all just below that top wire. Shots on though, options here for Rasmus, double 16. Incredible from Maras Rasmus, a 1-2-1. One, to break Gary Anderson's throw and then a 1 3 4 to move in front. And if Anderson wasn't aware of the threat of Madras Rasmus, I'm sure he was, he'd be fully aware now. Can I leave a finish or start in the 19? Rasmus has been very resilient in this match and he's got six starts to TF. Good recovery. Ah, really good for Madras Rasmus. Should be going one set of piece here. Two points separating Razamataz from a level game against the two time world champ. He was double 16. And there it is. How's about lap then as Madras Razma levels the match and sends out a message to Gary Anderson? I'm still here too, Gary. Razma definitely starting trouble 19 here. Uh, if he'd have hit 19, he'd have been over 25. He's got to find another treble now. Ah, good dart. Incredible world, isn't it? Double 11. Well, this is a tall order for sure. It's tall now. Oh, wow. Unbelievable from Maras Rasma. That eclipses the 1-3-4 and the 1-2-1 he's hit already. And he leads.
moment in the match for the first time. A smile from Gary Anderson. But Rasma, that is quality, and the timing gives him control of set three now. He's got the darts to lead and become the first man to eliminate Gary Anderson this round since Ronnie Baxter in 2010. Surely not. Well, this is harder for him because it involves treble 20s, Mark. Okay, another ball here, maybe. Yeah, trying to oh, do the tops. Oh, Anderson gets rid of this 56, and we're in to a fifth leg shootout for the third consecutive set. Can he find the double 10? He gets it. Big dart from Gary Anderson. Still no emotion from Gary. His wife, Rachel, watches on. Big leg incoming. Anderson's darts. There's also the argument if you go for a 25, you can hit everything, anything and have to find a trouble. But there's two set darts incoming from Addis Rasma here. And again, Mark off of treble 19. Yeah. That's nowhere near. Oh, what a chance has come and gone from Addis Rasma. Look at the anguish. Anderson split 56 in the previous leg to send us all the way. He's got a split 25 now to clinch the set. Double eight. It's a big moment for Gary Anderson, and he's not up to the challenge. Well, when he won a world title, he wanted 25, and he went one double 12. That was his MO back then, but it was a long time ago. Now went the more conventional nine double eight and missed. Rasmus two for double four. To take the lead in sets. And he can't find it, he's missed four darts in total for this set. Well, if Anderson takes this now, this will be tough set back for Mathers to recover from. Look at him, he can't watch. And that furthers the anguish for Mathers Rasma. What an opportunity missed, but Gary Anderson got away with one there. 19 bails him out again. When Rob Cross won the title 2018, he was a master of the craft of treble 19 hitting, but I think even Voltage would have to give best to Rasma now as the premier treble 19 hitter in world darts. Stats back it up. He's it. He's a desperate moment to manage Rasma now, because Gary Anderson all of a sudden is a 1-2-1 finish away from throwing for a place in round three. That's in. 11, leaves the ball, yeah. and Gary Anderson has found his biggest and best finish of the match. 1-2-1 one, one on the ball, and as Mark Webster said, it leaves him now throwing to end this contest. And to finish the job here, three darts at double 18. Double nine. Three match starts have gone, but there will be more to follow because Rasmer has been cut adrift in this leg. He made a mess of double 18 earlier in the match. Maybe an argument to just pick his favourite double there. And there's going to be some pressure when he returns here now, and serious pressure. Oh, Rasmer putting his hands in here. He thinks it's done. One, double four. Oh, oh Gary, Gary. Hindsight, you're in the game, the adrenaline's flowing. An argument for a big two with his last start and a visit prior to that. Are we heading for the fifth deciding leg yet again in a set? And Rasmus would have the darts. He's got to get rid of this first, and the crowd are getting involved. And he gets there. We are level in set four. Anderson, he's fuming. He is, he's now angry, Anderson. And suddenly he's got to go into a deciding leg for the fourth consecutive set. This may be a little bit evident here for Anderson this year. Exited first round at the match play to Daryl Gurney, Michael Van Gerwen. Got the better of him at the Grand Prix. He did beat Gabriel Clemens at Minehead a few weeks ago before losing to Rob Cross. He missed the match start there. Is there any more coming? There should be. There certainly should be, and there is, at tops, and Gary Anderson shows his class with his third top-plus finish to finally put Madders Rasmus away. We were on the brink of a final set and an Ali Pali class.
Classic was unfolding in front of our very eyes, but the two-time former champ has held on to knock out Mathers Rasba in an absolute thriller by three sets to one. That was some darts match. Uh, he's off and running again, Gary Anderson, Ali Pali, and it, it got a bit edgy, it got a bit nervy. A look back. Only fallen at the very first hurdle, the once. That was 2018 against Keegan Brown. Remember that? Yes. And all the way. But the semi-final last year was a was a good run because the four previous years were quarter-final, last 16, last 32, last 32. One of those players that everyone is wary of. Well, they want four seven to leave top, so they want three four to leave ninety. Williams is going to get a dart, and a very good dart indeed from Jim Williams. Let me beat who's in front of you and. Jim Williams is not doing an awful lot, and this would help. His darts just look like they're all going to fall out to me. Double eight. That is the set. James Wade doesn't have to be spectacular. He was decent, and it works. That's the first set. Poland charity. A recent big event. Would a big Frank will make it if James Wade makes any headway in this tournament? In fact, Bruno was even more popular than you, Wade. What a chance. Tops. James four out of four of the doubles. Both players now taking out 107. see it that was a James Wade finish just the simple 60 the, the simple single and the dart pinged into the double I'm sure we'll, we'll show it again to Mark Webster's talking about the numbers of the world championship 85. he's okay he'll do he'll do what a chance here for the Welshman Jim Williams. 96. He was a, a set down. And a leg down, yes. That's when James took out the 107. 30 maybe for 32. There you go. That is how you wrap up a set. That is how you win a set. That was quality from Jim Williams. In the first set, he averaged 79. That was nearly 99. That is impressive from Jim Williams. One set all. Because he's under the cosh here. Great last start. Well, this would be typical Wade. But they went for the treble 14. It was a brave attempt. But Jim Williams here should get at least one dart for a two sets to one lead. 102. Jimmy McGuire 80. Huge moment for the Welshman. He'll like that. He'll yeah, absolutely yeah, adore yeah. that. Jim Williams, From the set down, Jim Williams has taken six straight legs. Sheesh. 125. That was superb. Aggressive first one, aggressive second one. His own two years ago. Against Stephen Bunting. He ended up losing that game. But James Wade has left 84 for the set. And he's going to get a go. 96. James Don't want to start making the game drama-ridden. Wants to get this done. 
Double 11 for the set and 2 2. That's brilliant. Well, we've posed the question. For 76 to beat James Wade, the eighth seed in the World Championship. 100. Good finish. Jimmy McGuire, 76. For the biggest win of his life. A nervy first one. Nervy? <laughs> 36. I was being kind. You were. So is this the end of the line for the number eight seed? 53% on his doubles. He's expecting this to go in. When he matches is difficult. That is a brilliant dart. That is a brilliant win for Jim Williams. The 2020 BDO runner-up in the World Championship beats the four-time semi-finalist in the PDC, James Wade. The eighth seed, James Wade is out. Jim Williams gets it done. Since he was on 164 for Hempel. Double A, otherwise he's going into a fourth visit. Well, unless Humphreys checks out 19. 16. So this has not been a good back end to the leg for Florian Hempel. Well, that camera angle showed just how much of the target was obscured for those first two darts. And Humphreys yeah. can't get all line. Scrappy leg. Into a seventh visit, Florian Hempel. This to break the Humphreys throw. Double eight. Gets it in the end, breaks the throw in the end, goes two up in the first set. A two treble 20 double 10 visit. And he can, he can't now, and that's a relief to Humphreys, who's rather got his counting mixed up. To wake up here, Luke. 16 for the ball. Bullseye to keep the set going. Ah, really good start. He's down the match of Luke Humphreys and. Pressure on Florian Hempel now, because realistically, Roddy should be in that. now all right isn't it that's what Luke Humphreys attempted to do in the opening double 13 for Luke wrong side of the line and it would have been another 12 dart leg his third 12 dart leg but Hempel keeps living 170 but he hasn't threatened it he may do this time he is threatening he wants the ball well, he, he threatened for two darts, and then for the third dart, he wasn't really in the correct postcode. He wanted the ball. Adrenaline, this is big. Oh, Humphreys called the flight of the 13. He's lacking composure, Luke Humphreys, and we don't often associate that with him. Two darts in hand for the set. One dart in hand at double 16 for the big German. Lands to his right there, Florian Hempel. Something distracted him. It's getting messy. And Humphreys is getting frustrated. He's in trouble, Luke Humphreys. He'll certainly be in trouble if Hempel takes out this double 16. Because then Humphreys will be two sets to one down. And he is two sets to one down in a race to three. So now... Humphreys will be all too aware how fragile the situation is. He's done all he can do to tear this third leg, and he's done that. And now we're going to a decided set for the second consecutive game. Look at that. It's tops, but only one dart left, and he can't find it. And the frustration continues for Luke Humphreys. Disbelief from Luke Humphreys there. 
three well-thrown darts. Hempel to keep the set going, Khan, more opportunities for Luke. Send us all away. Double ten, double five, missed that by a mile. Hasn't missed that one though, has he? And Luke Humphreys levels the match for the second time in terms of sets. It's been a torrid tussle as far as he is concerned, but now he just needs to take a leap out of the legendary owner of the Oakland Raiders NFL team, Al Davis. He used to say quite simply, just win, baby. Good damn. Now, we've seen a few attempts at the big fish from Hempel, now one from Humphreys, which could really change the match completely. He wants the bullseye! He was that close to the big fish, the first big fish finish of this championship. That's how close he was. What an effort. <laughs> Look at that. Florian knows, doesn't he? Hempel, though, knows this is not a game. It's an awkward shot. He's going to go high now. But that's an open bet at double ten. Inside, a chance for Luke Humphreys to lead for the first time in the match. Double eight to mop up the 25, and he does so. And that now puts Luke Humphreys in charge of this match, completely in charge of the match. He almost hit the bullseye. Hempel couldn't take advantage of the visits, didn't get him on the line. Poor visit. Big ask for Florian Hempel. We've seen this from Alan Suter in the event already. That was to win the match. This is to save the match for Florian. Two treble twenties needed. No, sir. Well, Luke Humphreys now, double eight. He's hit that several times in the match. Can he find it to win it? Yes, he can! And Luke Humphreys survives a real scare. And in the end, Florian Hempel has to offer his hand to concede defeat. Humphreys just about stumbled over the finishing line. 106. Blowing Menzies away here. Doesn't need to go for the bullseye. And isn't. That's just good play, and you can sometimes be drawn into doing that way because you're so far ahead. Then all of a sudden, a 180 from Menzies, and you're making a mess of the leg. Great opening set from Vincent van der Voort. He's got to tidy up with tops. Yeah, Cameron's might have been a spectator, really. What a start from Vincent van der Voort. Three doubles in, in four darts, and Cameron Menzies kind of gives it, well, what can I do? With a set average of 104, Vincent van der Voort looks happy. Vincent looking to leave 1-2-1 one, one, after just nine darts. Proper leg of darts, this. Proper game of darts. Yeah. That puts pay to that, Cameron. He's got it. Tied up. Just checking. 59 remaining for Cameron, so he'll be back down. But it's an, an opening again for Vincent. He's had a chance to win every leg, Vincent van der Voort. Yeah, it was a good exchange there from Cameron to the referee because he originally miscounted. Double 14! There's no miscount there! Well, that could turn the set and the match on its head. As Cameron says, well done, pal. Wow. He's without the darts. Oh, yeah, 54. If Vincent eventually goes on to lose this set, Mark, it will be absolutely livid. Getting closer, and this, we mentioned it earlier, at the big moments, Cameron Menzies just lacks a little bit of composure. He's, he's done a lot right in this match, Cameron. Yeah. Anguish. Width of the wire, right? Surely Vincent... Oh, wow. That is a cracking dart. That's a happy Dutchman. The Dutch destroyer is destroying Menzies here. He leads by two sets to nil. And you can see the anguish that Cameron Menzies is feeling. Vincent will know if he does get pipped to the post in this, then it's most certainly game on. Because right now he's an absolute certainty to not win this leg. Humphreys went close twice. Gary Anderson had a, a go at it as well, but Vincent. Oh, a sloppy leg from Vincent van der Voort. 
letting Menzies back in. He is, you're correct. And he's taken his opportunity. Card one out to give him a half in this third set. It's this, we have a game on here. It wasn't looking like it. I'm not sure who he's talking to. He'll be talking to himself and this 1-2-5 goes in. He gets a chance, he won't relish. Oh, hang about, he might not get a go at double five. Composed himself. Nervous Cameron Menzies, but he gets a chance. Got to be aggressive here. Straight at it. The first start was too far away. More to a trait of the Cameron Menzies game. He's done a lot right in this set, in this match, in fact. And it'd be a bit harsh if he lost it three sets to nil. But Vincent van der Boer has the darts to make that happen. Vincent's average still below 80 in this set. He's getting away with it. But Vincent has wobbled in legs. And he's got to hang on in there. Needs another one, you feel. Yeah, he's walking back that little bit sluggishly now. Vincent not even entertaining the 19s. Because he knows that it's about him. This leg is about what he does. And he, he knows he can tip the 125, even if Cameron's gone up at 118. Cameron looks a beaten man. Plenty of time for Vincent van der Boer to wrap victory up here. Yeah, that's fine. That's all he'd have intended to do with that visit anyway. And we'll return with some match darts. 53% on doubles. Going by those statistics. Vincent would think that he's going to clean this match up here. And he does. And he is pleased, and so he should be. That was a potential banana skin, as Mark mentioned. But Cameron Menzies missed a few chances as Vincent's trying to get rid of him. He wants to enjoy his moment, Cammy.